Well, I'm Doug. Rose. That was for a game shampoo, and welcome back to the Alice Madness Returns Let's Play. So, last episode. Time to finish this. And there's one poem everyone knows from this. And yeah, right now she's just breaking in somewhere. It's unimportant. And I'm not the greatest dramatic reader, but I married someone who's very good at this. So, uh, bringing back for the first time in a while, Lady Krim. Good evening. And happy Halloween. I'm so pleased to be back to read this poem that you should all be familiar with. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All minzy were the borogoves, and the mome rats outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in oofish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood, and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy! Oh, frabjous day, kalu kalay! He chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slidy toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the mome rats outgrave. Rats. Oh, uh, it's always important to put something on. Alright, uh, let's get. I gotta do a quick gear change. Alright. I uh, think I am much better attired now. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, things are all nice and calm, and then they get all glitchy. But yeah, happy Halloween, everyone. This is. Uh, not the last episode. <laughs> and here we are in a big old fight, which is... Ooh. <sighs> what is with this capture card in this game? <sighs> this was... this is the last section of this recording, so I'm kinda... kinda grateful with uh, how I got to approach things, but man... Hey, I gotta try different things that take down this bus. <laughs> uh, oh man. I can say it's been a lot of fun playing this game. Now just seeing like what what. I said it's been a long time since I've played it. Ah. <sighs> And then it's been a lot of fun going back to it, you know? Ah, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. yeah, the sound effects are well ahead of uh, what is being displayed, and I'm sorry about that. Doing that kind of adjustment is really, really hard. There's a reason why I don't get like one or two things. I'm doing a recording. Yeah, things just get off. Well, no, oh, am I gonna I know what I'm looking for? Oh, actually, yeah, I've got all the information I need. All right, come on, Alice, show them what to do, how to do it. And yeah, oh my god, I'm in my uh, Cheshire Cat onesie. Might be Disney Alice, but 
There are only so many Alice out in the world, in all honesty. Of course, that answer to how many Alice is quite a lot. <laughs> Uh, there is the 90s TV show, there have been countless TV adaptions. There's the American McGee series, or duology, I think it is. Para games, definitely say para games. Uh, a lot of like point and click adventures, or hidden object games. A lot of that, not quite my thing, but. Hey, it's there. Uh, I should acknowledge it. Oh man, that 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 doesn't sound great. That sounds kind of bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That is pretty accurate. Do not trust the Hatter. <laughs> oh. Well, then again, you gotta ask who's around. Yeah, time to make my way up there. See the mushroom there. First, gotta heal up though. These shrinking violets are useful for that by a long shot. <laughs> Man, just all the muttering that Hatter is doing. I don't know if I was supposed to duck through that or not, but hey, that's the way I know to do the thing. Oh, wow, yeah. This is several seconds of audio desync, and if I'm seeing it here, that means it's in the final... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm grateful that it was uh, just focused for this month and that I got all the recording I needed. I mean, I will pick it up, and I will try to work out the kinks if, if these videos perform well. That's ever the thing. If stuff does well, I will do it more. If stuff doesn't, I gave it a try, and I like that. Also, <laughs> nine. That, that's an interesting number. It works. I'm good with this. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that was not a uh, blow it up. But then again, I did see the thing over there, and as you can hear... Yeah... Ah, there is no fixing some of this. Uh, yeah, like I said, I recorded this on my Xbox 360. Now, using like the same capture technology I've used for a lot of other stuff. Like uh, when I did Alice with uh, Crobat a couple years ago, we weren't doing video, we were just like talking and using an older model of the one I use now and I mean <laughs> oh man that, that got hit by a uh, copyright claim pretty quick because uh, Chris there now uh, you're not you're not uh, it, well never's watching his music is really protective of it yeah, it was a fun thing to go and play, and I did like it. <laughs> we'll see where things go from there, though. Ah, all right, down you go, Alice. Let's help the Hatter more. The Hatter says to head to him. Let's see what the lever does. Hmm, we're gonna... Oh, we're getting there. Ah, uh, the audio... to the... Yeah, the audio to the video. There's a noise. Oh! Alright, that's the train. The train causes a lot of trouble. 
So, <sighs> the, okay, we've hit the thing which makes this game the hardest for me to actually play. <sighs> this this game has one boss fight. One, I remember that. It even has that line. We get to see this huge creature. And then it's cutscene away into another cutscene. Listen to this music. Listen to this music. Look at this presentation. Everything screams boss fight, and then nothing happens. It's, it's the most annoying thing. Look at that. That is a boss, complete with a good target, and Hatter stops it with a tea kettle. <sighs> that really felt like there should be more there when I'm playing it. You, you do a thing, you give Hatter the opening. Well. Okay, well, it is time to wrap things up. I'm gonna let, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let the game finish all on its own. I certainly hope you enjoyed the commentary and the little bit of poetry. So, I have been, as always, Doug Zada Rose. Please like, comment, subscribe to keep up to date with this Let's Play, our Skyrim content, and the ongoing Assassin's Creed Let's Play series. So, in the meantime, toss a coin to your gamer, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy. Oh, and happy Halloween!